the second one is that contours never end except at the edge of a map. The third one is that contours never cross another contour. And the fourth one is that contours divide land that is lower than them on one side from land higher than them on the other side. Right, those are our four main rules of contours, so let's now apply them to drawing a contour map. Right, if we have a look at this map, what I've done is draw a map with a whole lot of heights on it. Now we are going to draw the contours. Right, let's start with the 120 contour. Over here is the height 120, and so we'll start in that corner there, and the contour is going to go through that. A bit of a guess as to where it goes exactly, but then here's 115, and here's 125, so 120 must be halfway in between those two, and so we take it halfway in between. There's another 120, so it's going to come around and go exactly through that. Then over here we've got 122, 118, it should go about halfway in between there. And then off to the edge of the map. Right, now it is a bit of a guess in that area as to exactly where it goes. Right, so let's now draw the 140 contour, and we will see that again we start at the edge, take a bit of a guess as to where it goes, and then there is 135 and 145, it must go halfway in between them. Through the 140, and then closer to the 142 than the 135, because that's 2 from 140, this is 5 from 140, so it's going to go through about there, it'll go through that 140, then very close to this 141, and go through there. Right. Now, notice that we said that contours divide heights that are higher than themselves from heights that are lower than themselves, our rule 4. So, these heights here are all higher, all of these are higher than the ones over here. Likewise, these ones here are all higher than those ones. Okay. Right, continuing with the 160 contour, we can see then that this is going to be fairly straightforward. Notice we take the pattern of the previous contours and say, well, right now it's not so much guesswork. If those two are doing that, there's a good chance this one's also going to do that. And it's going to go through the 160, closer to 165 than 140, much closer to 161 than 150, through the 160, closer to 165 than 140, and then through the 160. Now, we've got no further information. We could simply take it parallel there, but probably a good idea just let it to drift down to the edge of the map. Notice we can't just stop, we have to go to the edge of the map. Our second rule, contours don't end, they, end, they form either complete circles or end at the edge of the map. And then likewise, with a bit of guesswork, we can't say that there's a 180 there but certainly we can say that it's probably going to be fairly parallel to that. goes through the 180, very close to the 181. Right, so there is our contour map. Now notice that the contours are whole numbers of 20, so 120, 140, 160, 180. We don't draw contours through all these other numbers, not on the 1 in 50,000 map that series that we are going to be studying.